What's going on everyone? So Sony just launched a new PlayStation 5 firmware and I'm pretty sure y'all are wondering what is it? As you see right here, this update adds walk a mob, party share, personalized 3D audio profiles, adaptive controller charging, and more. So let's go down and read walk a mob, a new personalized space on the PlayStation 5 home screen will roll out gradually across regions. By the way, y'all like, subscribe, y'all like this type of content. We doing all types of other stuff too, video game content, controversy, everything, streaming for years to come. Today, we're happy to announce a new PlayStation 5 system software update that introduces a number of new features. Welcome, love, a new personalized space with customizable widgets and backgrounds. Oh, themes, that's cool. A new PlayStation 5 home screen. Welcome, love, and a re is a reimagined version of the Explore tab, which was previously only available in the US. It will roll out um, global over the next few weeks, starting today from the select players in the US. Party share, the ability to share party voice chat links on messaging and social media apps will roll out globally in the coming weeks. Additionally, thanks to the support from our beta participants, the following features were tested in the latest PlayStation 5 beta. It will be released globally starting today. So look out for that, guys. Personalized 3D audio profiles for headphones and earbuds. Adjust remote play settings per user and choose who is allowed to connect to your PlayStation 5 console using remote play. Adaptive charging for your controllers, available for the slimmer PS5 model and PS5 Pro when it's available. Aside from adaptive charging for your controllers, all base PlayStation 5 update features mentioned in the blog post are available for all PlayStation 5 models. Let's take a look at what's included in this update. Newly announced feature Welcome Hub, so we can go ahead and do this real quick. Get a little close. <laughs> right to the point so we see you can move around things which is cool so you can easily customize your welcome hub by selecting from a variety of widgets which means you know moving stuff around and then with a different background and then you can expand or shrink them to give you more uh aspects of it which i think is pretty cool in addition you can also change your welcome hub's background as we saw right there and then right here you can kind of choose what you want to do so your screenshots will be there which is cool i wonder if they'll have official ones which i think they will Welcome Hub will uh, become available to select users in the U.S. starting later today, where we actually expand support in other regions over the coming weeks, starting with players in Japan and in Europe, the final release worldwide, party share, face release. In the next few weeks, we'll also add the ability for you to share some party voice chat links on any messaging or social media app. This will allow you to invite a friend from whom you're chatting with in any messaging app to join your party uh, voice chat, even if you haven't added them to your friends list. That's cool. To create a party link, open the voice chat card in the control center on the PlayStation 5. Select invite players, then click share party link to generate a scannable QR code. Recipients can open the link on their mobile device and see once you join the party on their PlayStation 5 or phone PlayStation app. In the coming weeks, we'll release an update to the PlayStation app, which will allow you to Similarly, generate a shareable link from your mobile device. That's cool. PS5 beta features rolling out globally today. Here's a closer look at some of the PS5 beta features that are rolling out globally today, including personalized 3D audio profiles for headphones and earbuds, the ability to enable remote play access for individual users and adaptive charging for your controllers, personalized 3D audio profiles for headphones and earbuds. And this generation 3D audio is one of the key ways the creators have enhanced the immersive quality of games. As individuals, we all hear sounds differently based on the size and shape of our head, our head, ears, and ear canals. If that makes sense. We're pleased to introduce a feature to let your PlayStation 5 create a personalized 3D audio profile just for you, kind of like how they have an Xbox, which is cool. With a set of headphones or earbuds, you can run through a set of sound quality tests to analyze a vast number of factors to create an audio profile to ask that the best fits your hearing characteristics. Definitely if you're playing shooting games and you want to hear the footsteps, you know, all that type of stuff, or maybe you just want to immerse yourself in more sound effects for different things. 
For example, your personalized 3D audio profile may enable you to better sense the positions of characters and objects in a game world more clearly than before, <clears throat> making the experience more immersive. So here, they're going to give an example. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So uh, the thing about that too is, you know, Sony was actually buying like uh, patents for like audio enhancements a while ago. And now we can see how they're putting that to use here. So to create a personalized 3D audio profile for your headphones or earbuds, go to settings, sound, 3D audio headphones on your PS5 console and follow the steps displayed on the screen. Your audio profile will be saved to your PS5 per user and you can still you could also select from 3D audio presets like before. So you can kind of like create your own like uh, profiles for that. What the hell is my PS5 controller? Okay, it's right over there. I'll, I'll do that after this. This future builds on the 3D audio enhancement we've introduced on PS5 since launch, including 3D audio support for built-in TV speakers and support for compatible Dolby Atmos enabled audio devices, which they end up getting at too, like uh, Xbox at Dolby Atmos is, is awesome, I like it. Definitely makes a difference. All you gotta do is play some music and switch it around and you'll see. These features give you additional options to immerse yourself more deeply in a rich variety of soundscapes and PS5 games powered by Tempest 3D audio tech. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Definitely if they like make, you know, organic updates for that compared to you just switching around when they're not focused on it, you definitely will be able to tell. It definitely does matter. Definitely if you have a good headset, like this one I have here, it's pretty nice. Works on PC too, which I like. Enable remote play for individual users. You can now adjust remote play settings per user and choose who is allowed to connect to your PS5 console using remote play. So if your friends or family members come over and sign into your PS5 console with their account for PlayStation Network, you can easily modify who can continue to access your console using remote play when they leave. To adjust these settings, systems remote play, enable remote play and choose which user you want to enable access to your PS5 console through remote play. Adaptive charging for your controller, similar to the slimmer PS5 model and PS5 Pro. Okay. So this is already in there. You just got to wait to hit it in November. Adaptive charging for the DualSense wireless controller, DualSense Edge wireless controller, VR2 Sense controllers, and access controllers now available for the slimmer PS5 model. When the console is in rest mode and will also be available for the PS5 Pro when it launches, adaptive charging helps save power by adjusting the length of time that power is supplied to your controller battery so depending on you know the battery level you can decide and i think that's good because if you overcharge a controller it, it does make the battery less over time everybody knows that if it's 100 percent and you're still charging it you can make the battery uh, die faster and you have to keep it charged up because it just keeps dying faster so that's what that's for to use adaptive charging setting system power saving features available in rest mode and then select supply power to USB ports adaptive. After your PlayStation 5 enters rest mode, if the controller isn't connected to power supply to the USB port will stop after a certain period of time. We will continue to enhance your gaming and social experience on PS5 by listening to community feedback on futures and improvements. Let us know which features you are most excited to play. So this is a pretty huge update. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Try it out, comment in the section and let me know. All right, y'all. Have a great day and enjoy this update. Peace out, y'all. Like, subscribe.